Cena found his long lost PhD. The doctor of thugonomics is back. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from West Snowbury, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 248 pounds, John Cena! The ever rhyming, always shining, constantly deriding John Cena. An iconic relic of John's past, but is he as happy to see it as we are? Well, for the moment, Cena is back to living by word life. The animal has arrived. And his opponents, first, from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the end, Batista! Not a man you ever want to underestimate when it comes to his in-ring prowess. Yeah, don't underestimate a specimen like him when it comes to anything, because he can powerbomb you in the next week. Unparalleled success, both in the ring and in Hollywood, which is insane because for some reason, the WWE Universe has never appreciated Batista quite enough. Well, no question about it. Batista will demand the respect of the WWE Universe right here tonight. The Apex Predator is on the hunt. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton! The definition of a WWE superstar, and in my opinion, there is no one as gifted in this game as Orton. Now, Corey, I agree. Legendary factions, all-time tag teams. But Randy Orton is best when he does some solo work. And when he's doing said solo work, Randy Orton is one of the most sadistic individuals the WWE has ever known. The more hostile the environment, the more at home Randy Orton seems to be. We talk a lot about who is the best, but Orton has been in the conversation for a very, very long time. Uh, how about over two decades of dominance, Corey? Undeniably on the short list for the greatest of all time.
Three superstars with one goal in mind, but there can only be one with their hand raised at the end of this triple threat. I've competed in multiple triple threat matches, and the most challenging aspect is making sure you stay in the mix. Make sure you're always just an arm's reach away from any for where in the corner now. Heading back to the ring. <laughs> Lighten up the chest and now straight to the knee. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? And he got in there. I thought that was it. Military press. <laughs>
Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Big time close run. Good grief. Cena retaliates. Solely focused on in the corner. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. Cena gets intercepted. He returns to the ring. deep into this match and you have to think that their stamina is running out. Yeah, at this point in the match, it starts to feel like you're fighting in mud. Pulls their opponent in. Belly to belly. Batista's being picked apart here. Yeah, Cena's rising up to meet Batista head on. Who to dominate your opponent? Ah, oh, John Cena. Cena powerbomb from Cena. One strong attack after another. Batista is just playing with his food right now. Into the ring again. The Viper escape car. Can't be happy that he was almost out. 
out for the count, and we all know what happens when the Viper's not happy. Not many people escape defeat after Batista gets hold of you and executes that maneuver. And here we go. And he breaks the hold. Free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. The steel chair, never as innocent as it looks. I guess he thinks the one thing missing in this match is a steel chair. The animal not backing down one bit. Shoulder tackle. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. And gets tossed back into the mat. Caught with a clothesline. Looks like John Cena is locked in on his opponent. Fends off the attack with an elbow. He'll take things into the ring. Carefully, and a knee across the face. Cena letting his opponent know who's in charge here. Some would call it quite the Herculean feat. I cannot even imagine how any of these men feel after a match like that. All I can really say is that they put on a triple threat match for the ages. <laughs>